MRACFORBESDVD.com with the motherfucking man, DJ Self. Yo, listen, it's the Prince of New York, DJ Self. Let me tell you my handle real quick. Shout Please. out to the whole union. The union's definitely in here, you know, mm -hmm. you know, so, somebody to be mentioned, you know what I'm saying? Definitely Power 1051. Definitely Sirius XM Radio Shade 45. That means we a factor. You know what it is, alright? Let's get it with it, baby. What's yes, up, sir. man? Forbes yes, DVD. Yes, I'm sir. So, actually, this might this might this this might be my first time, not on the DVD. I was on it a couple of times, but this is my first one-on-one -on -one joint with it. So shout to y'all for, for for finally coming around. Cause y'all gonna say it was me, but you know, we gonna we gonna throw the ping pong up. I mean ball. schedules conflict and we all busy, <laughs> man, but we go way back. Niggas don't know, we go way back like not Matt, not eight, but even before then. You know yeah, what I'm let's saying? Get it. But um, yeah, DJ Self, man, you basically took the clubs by storm. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. You went like head first. You know what I'm saying? What was your like your thoughts, your mentality of uh, you know, taking the clubs by storm? Well, I mean, I, I first started out with the mixtapes, mm -hmm. but I felt like the competition with the mixtapes was so heavy, and I wasn't getting the exclusives like some others was. So you know, shot the clue. Shout to uh, even my man Cutmaster C. You know, Cutmaster C was doing his thing. Um, uh, it was a couple other people doing their thing too. But you know, those are people I, I really like. I, I, I want to say was definitely doing their thing. I came up around those times, and um, I always was the, 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 the dude that always came went to the clubs anyway. And I always knew how to rock a party. So you know, I, I put my main focus in, into that, like doing clubs. And uh, I got down with um, a guy named DJ Goldfinger. Shout to Goldfinger too. He's one of the guys who like started me. Into the into the Going into the in, in, into the DJ you know into the the DJ club world the nightlife in New York City so shout to him because he definitely looked out you know what I mean yep. and uh, I came up under him and you know learned a lot of things from him and then just you know went my own way and you know got it going shout to the union definitely <laughs> so what made you want to start the union and shit what was your vision on that um, I started the union because. Um, when I was down, me and Goldfinger used to be a part of a crew, and um, the way that the crew was rolling, I wasn't really feeling it. Um, so I just figured maybe I could do my own thing um, and become my own boss instead of somebody being my boss and uh, become my own boss. So then that's what that's how I just really started. Like you know, uh, me me DJ Will and Snatch One just manning up. It's called I, we gonna call it manning up. Mm. You know, like instead of. You know, having somebody control our destiny, we control our own destiny. You okay. know? Um, give the people, like, how many clubs you do a night? Like, um, include everything, like the team, the union, yourself. How many clubs you're doing a night a well, week? I mean, we do, we, 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 we in the club seven, seven, seven times a night. So we, hmm. we you know, uh, seven, seven times, seven, seven times a night. Seven days a week we, uh -huh. we in there right now. But you know what? The funny thing is, a lot of people talk about me, about DJ Self, but right now we on we we behind the scenes with Selfish Music Group. That's another entity that I'm doing where, exactly. you know, I, I got some, I got Melly, I got Ox, I got Dust Smitty, I got Kaya Baby. I mean, listen, it, it goes on and on and on. And so we got a producer, Benny H, too. I just want you know honorable mention um, these guys. And um, hopefully you get to see the video soon, you know, and um, we just gonna get it going. You Definitely. know what I mean? Man, you got a lot going on. You like one of the first DJs with their own sneaker, right? Something yeah, I had, like a, um, I had a Adidas sneaker. Um, I was the first the first DJ to get a sneaker and um, I designed my own sneaker and all that, you know, that money gone though. You know, I'm living in that money. Mm. <laughs> you know mm. what I'm saying? But mm. you know what I'm saying? So how that come about? Like um well what was that phone call like? The phone call was good because I, I didn't know I could get paid. Like I was more happy of getting a sneaker with my name on it and stuff like that. And then, you know, when that when that you know pipeline came through, I was more happy. So you know, so you know that yeah. phone call made me very happy and you know now, you know, I'm I'm living in that money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you say living in that money, well, you know, did you, make, that, a, did I, I you make a major move? Did yeah, you go I made a nice investment. Okay. I made a nice investment okay. with that money, so yes, you know, sir. thank you. You know, thank you to the good brothers, you know, over there. Anybody you want to shout out over there? Uh, no, because you know, you shot people out, then people, people start... People try to look them up, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, so, um, so I did that. Um, mm -hmm. I, I also... Um, had had um, a single called Tea Bag um, yeah, by the Tea Bag Boys. Uh -huh. um, we was, uh, you know, I, I adventured into the rhyming thing. Um, I'm not a rapper. Uh -huh. uh, people say they're not a rapper, but I'm not a rapper. I, I was 
a person that was rapping and having fun with it and doing something that I got paid for having fun. Mm. A lot of people, you know, when, when you come up, you and your friends, y'all rhyme and, and, you know, joke around and stuff like that. I just was fortunate to get some money from, from doing that also. So, shout to the brothers at Koch also. And, mm. um, but now I'm going to let the rappers rap. So, that's why I do the Selfish Music Group thing. And um, I'm also doing uh, my remixes, my Up North remixes, uh, where I get the New York rappers to rhyme on the Southern, Southern songs. And um, we just get it going, you know what I mean? It, you know, it's a lot of hate going on too. I be listening to that other station and shit. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That uh, that that H O T. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I be listening. I'm like, damn, nigga, self putting dumb work. Like, you know what I mean? I know putting dumb work. Seen where it grew to, and the nigga just steady putting his work. You don't even mention nobody names. And why well, niggas is well, coming at your throat I mean, for whatever reason? Like, I mean, well, some people say they coming. I don't think they coming at me because they no one never said my name. Uh -huh. You you know sometimes yeah. some people may make somebody feel like they saying something about one person, but it might be particularly about someone else. So sometimes you know I guess people may feel it's me. I, yeah. I feel happy yeah. that they feel it's me because I guess they feel like he can't be talking about nobody else but him. But it may not be me, you know. Now, I, I know it's you. Oh, I know it's well, you. I, I know it's you. You heard my name? Um, not nah, just of the context of, you know, what he's saying. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, because he coming at the clubs, and I know you got the clubs on Smash. You understand? Well, other people, other when people niggas say, yo, club. we back in these clubs, we back in these clubs, just to let y'all you know, you know, you, you know niggas coming at you. You got that on Smash. You know what I mean? I know you modest. I, no, no, I just, yeah. I don't feel like, you know, if, if no one says, if no one says who, you know, who they, you know, I, I, I don't put, I don't think they talking about me. Yes, sir. You know, sometimes, you, you know, it may, it may seem like it, but I don't think so. Because if you're talking about somebody, you say that person's name. name. Yeah. That's how I feel. So I don't think they talk, they might be talking about somebody else, and they just want to make it seem like they talking about someone directly that's how I feel but let's clear the air you don't have no drama with nobody over there no, right? no, no, the I, don't have no drama. I, I love I, 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 the type of person I'm cool with everybody okay. um, you Good. know um, I'm, I, and you know you, you listen they, they play my remixes they play my gimme $20 um, oh, that was your joint? Definitely my wow. joint. So you gotta um, let people know that a lot of people just thought that was Ron Brown's well, joint. Well, I mean, well, shout to Ron. You know, uh -huh. I mean, when you when you when you pay for it, you own it. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> shout to Ron, though. You know, that's my guy. But you know, um, I was the originator of it. But you know, when just like I said, if you know, uh, these Nike sneakers are mine, but mm. they, you know, I paid yeah. for them. They so, look real. Nikes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they look real saying? crispy too. So you uh -huh. know, so uh -huh. you know, it is what it is. So you know. So, um, but I do write songs, I write records and, and different things like that. So if you, you know, if you need something hot, I'll add your boy. Hold on, hold on. Let's be wrong a little. So you wrote the Give Me $20 well, joint or well, you came up with the concept? Well, I came up with the concept. Uh -huh. All right, well. See, this is history right here. You got to speak on this, well, brother. I, I, I'll be honest with you. Uh -huh. give, me, give Me $20 um, is, is, is a term that me and Red Cafe came up with maybe three, mm. four years ago. Uh, we felt like we needed to do something for our career and the number one thing that that was hindering our career and it might be um a lot of fellas out here in their life was women and when i say women a lot of times you know instead of working you may want to go to dinner with a girl you may want to hang out with a girl something like that so you know when you're chasing when you're chasing a girl sometimes the money run away mm -hmm. you understand so we felt like i right, from now on, and there's no gay shit or nothing uh -huh. like that, because some people, oh, that's fucking gay. But I mean, we just wanted to do stuff for our career. So we felt like, all right, you know what? If we see you with a girl that's other than your girlfriend, then you got to pay $20. Mm -hmm. Which it, it was just something light, but it was just like something that, yo, you got to pay $20. So we just started that. Then it just it just grew and grew and grew to, oh, you kissing that girl, give me $20. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Always was give me $20, give me $20. Dudes so had then, to pay a fine. Pretty yeah, much. definitely pay a for fine. cuffing. Yeah, so uh -huh. it, you know it grew and grew and grew. I, I, like I said, this is three years ago, so I, obviously everything evolved. So it went That's from right. having a side girl to kissing to holding hands, mm -hmm. different things like that. So and then catching feelings. Yeah, then, yeah. So yeah. now, like you most know, do, give me twenty dollars. You know, we, we we in effect. You know yeah, what I mean? Definitely. Um, yeah. I want to say something. Mbrack got a music Forbes DVD .com. I, I knew this man DJ Self for a good while. He always been regular, always been humble. You know what I'm saying? Putting his work in, and out of a lot of people, he kept it the most 100. You know what I'm saying? That's one million, matter of fact. He mm -hmm. keep it so real, it's one million. You know what I'm saying? 
and uh, I respect you for that, brother. Good looking. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what you do. Stay how you be. And um, one more thing. Any advice or any DJs want to come up and um, play in the clubs or you know just mm -hmm. want to get their name known? Well, well, to me, to me, the 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 the, uh, the one thing a wise person said to me, and I, I'll say this to y'all, and you, if you use it in, in life and use it to tell somebody else it's cool, they told me to be successful you have to have five P's. And it's called proper preparation prevents poor performance. Mm. All right. If you didn't understand what I just said, just slow it down and rewind it, and I guarantee you, if you follow those five P's, you'll be, successful. You'll be perfect or yeah. damn near perfect. Definitely. All right. It's the Prince of New York DJ Self at DJ Self on that Twitter, or you know, catch me Friday, Saturday nights, Power 1051, Saturday nights, Sirius XM Shade 45, or you know, if anything you want to, you know, log on or something, you go to Forbes DVD, or you go to Gwinnin.tv. We hit G W I N I N dot TV. Let's get it Gwinnin. Right? I'm from Brooklyn. Yeah. Just first of all. Oh, let, from, oh, let people know I'm that. I'm from Brooklyn. What part? So, so I'm from I'm from Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Okay. okay. So remember, and no disrespect to nobody else, but remember. Remember what they what, what one thing with the beanie and the beanie Siegel and Jay Z thing, and they always talk about Jay. Jay is from Brooklyn, so we know how to hustle to get what we need to get. Yes, sir. All right, and, and that's one thing Beanie Siegel said. He respect Jay. He, he felt like this is you know he felt like he took their style to get what he needed to go, and that's the Brooklyn hustle. So we from Brooklyn, man. We you gotta respect the hustle. All right.